Hey guys, I'm going to give you all a quick overview of my DJI F450 copter. Um, I'm going to give you a quick overview of how I got it set up, some of the components I got on it, uh, how I got my GoPro mounted to it, what controller I'm using. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so when I first built this, I had budget in mind. I was wanting to keep it really cheap, uh, really inexpensive. You know, I was only flying with one battery pack, I had a really cheap controller. And all together, I think I got a unit built for a little over 600 bucks, maybe close to 700. Um, I went ahead and bought the DJI F450 complete kit. It came with speed controllers, motors, frame, arms, pretty much all the essentials. I went ahead and purchased the DJI NASA controller. And then after that, it was really just up to getting a transmitter and receiver and got that hooked up and got it in the air fairly cheaply. So to start with, since I had budget in mind, I started with this cheap transmitter. It is a Fly Sky brand controller. It operates on the 2.4 frequency. It's a six channel controller. I mean, pretty basic. The controls are all right. I was having some problems. I was getting a lot of drift in there. And no matter how much I set my trim, I still I, I could not get that right. But I paid $30 for it. So for $30, can't ask for a lot more. So now I've gotten a little more into the hobby. I've gotten upgraded some parts. I'm now flying with my Spectrum DX7S. It's a seven channel controller. Came with an eight channel Spectrum AR8000 receiver. So that's what I'm using now. So let's take a little closer look at the quadcopter here. I've got a DJI F450 frame. I've got the entire F450 kit, which includes the DJI motors, the DJI speed controllers, and the frame, the DJI arms. Then in the center under here, I have mounted the DJI NASA controller. I've got it hooked up to my Spectrum receiver. I've got my Spectrum antenna mounted over here. You're supposed to mount those farther than two inches away from the receiver. So I've got it mounted over here. I have a cheap voltage detector for my batteries that I have mounted on here, about four or five dollars on Amazon. Just zip tied it up top. Really nice because it's got a loud audible alarm that will let you know if your voltage is dropping below a certain point. It's programmable, there's a button on the back, you cycle through and you can choose what voltage you want it to alarm you at. So you're up flying, it's really loud, it's great because you can hear it if your voltage drops before your whole plane or your whole copter comes falling down you'll know what your voltage is and you can go ahead and correct for it and land your aircraft. So I've got my batteries, I mount them on the top, quick velcro strip, sticks right on here, makes it really nice, holds on there really good. I also have a strap that I'll stick around here, velcro strap, strap it in for extra security. Now let me show you where I mount my GoPro. This has been a little bit of an issue, I crashed my copter and so it actually broke off part of the frame here on the DJI. So I took two pieces of thin sheet metal, screwed them together with sheet metal screws. I know it doesn't look the most professional, but it works. And I've actually got my GoPro mount sitting right there on the bottom. Yes, you can probably see the problem with this. My copter is sitting flat right now. As soon as you put the GoPro underneath, now the GoPro is the farthest thing down. You ever crash, the GoPro is going to be the first thing you hit. So I'm getting ready to order some landing gear, which will help my copter sit up a little higher. That way I can hang a camera underneath. And I'm going to be working on getting a gimbal also for my GoPro. Here's my GoPro. GoPro Hero 3 Black Edition. Takes great videos, great footage. Highly recommend it uh, for a good lightweight camera. So. Guys, that's my quadcopter. If y'all have any questions about any of this, feel free to comment and I will try to get those answered. Guys, thanks for watching.